Hello my soccer universe. The Austrian league kicks off today and yes a week ago you already saw a preview uh, for that league but since there was already a cup run in there which I will not be able to review but then I come back from my vacation I decided I have to remind everyone again that the Austrian league is key kicking off and this time I do something you know last time last year I did ahead of every season, I kind of went through every the league, the big leagues that I have and said, okay, from each uh, team a jersey. I'm going to do something rather similar here now. I'm going to show you my Austrian uh, club jerseys that I have. But it's not only one team, one jersey, because there's one team that I have many, many jerseys, which is, of course, my favorite team, Lusk. And I decided to go with the black jersey with the red top. Because red is a color that is uh, auspiciously missing, not only in my collection for Austrian jersey, but also over on the Austrian league. Um, off the top of my head, there are not too many teams that are playing in red in Austria. Uh, and the most proper and the most prominent one went bust uh, over a decade ago. So there you go, red. Well, the Austrian national team is playing red, but red in itself is not a very popular color for Austrian club teams, which is uh, one of those things where you just wonder. Every other country, Austria likes to be special. I would say let's go through it. Uh, I'm gonna do it, uh, have to show you four non Lask jerseys and four Lask jerseys, and I will always, I'll start with probably the most striking one in many ways which is this Casino or Austria Salzburg 94-95. It was the home jersey in white, although they actually played in purple most of the time. But uh, there was a short peer period where everybody decided the white was the home jersey. And I think it has to do that they had then the um, in the um, UEFA Cup the year earlier, they suddenly went all white at home and had a big success there. And then for a while, Austria Salzburg played in white with purple accents. Now, uh, you will, uh, and the reason why this is not the one from the 93 94 seasons, because right after the season, they came out with this uh, abomination of a crest uh, with my favorite ball, of course, the C for Casino, which is the Casino's logo. Out, which they then were very, very in Champions League. This is this is actually the league uh, version because you can see the huge Casino Salzburg sponsor. Uh, to see the Champions League version, I have here a picture from the 94-95 Champions League book that I have, where you see a much, 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 much smaller sponsor. The other thing that's very interesting to me here is that this, of course, is a design that came out in 92. And that was one uh, for Casino Salzburg, as they were called back then. As you can see, SV Casino Salzburg, I still call them Austria Sal Salzburg. Um, this was one in 93, 994 and 94, 9, 95. And then they switched to the template for one year from the 94 World Cup. And then they switched to the one in 97, 9, 98, to the one from 96 Euros. Go figure. In, in in a way, I think, but 98 they had caught up and got actually the design from Romania and then they switched to Fila. Now, uh, this is my first non Lask Austrian jersey, and it I, I bought it purely for sentimental reasons because this was a team that uh, almost everyone in Austria, uh, I mean, grow. Uh, uh, growing up that time, we were all Austria Salzburg fans because they were so good in Europe. This were, they, you were proud of this team. And I have to say, it's also the first time uh, that I get an Adidas equipment jersey. <laughs> so uh, it kind of beat two things at, uh, at, at once. For 20 euros, this was really a steal. And also the story, you can see it in the video uh, there. It was really, really cool. Now, the one thing is it has two signatures, which of course, uh, I'm sure that Helmut Pfeifenberger is not uh, authentic, first of all, uh, his signature is different and he was only with one F. Maybe Sabitza uh, is authentic. This is the father of, of course, this would be the father of, um, of course, now uh, Bayern player Sabitza, uh, who had a very checkered history with uh, Lusk as well. He came from Salzburg, went to Lusk, was a star, and then kind of in a Judas move moved to uh, Graz in a way. So, yeah, that's that.
Following this, we need to, of course, show a Lusk jersey. And uh, you have a video with all my Lusk jerseys up until a point. So this is uh, all four Lusk jerseys I entered to the collection uh, ever since that <laughs> over the past year. Uh, this is the 2021 European third jersey. They only wore this once in a 3-0 loss at Spurs. But I have to say, the moment I saw this, I thought, this is actually pretty excellent. Yes, the pink color is very, very contentious among Lusk fans. However, the black with just the pink stripe, there is something about this that I really, really like. I love off-center stripes. Yes, I would like to have a black and white striped uh, jersey better. But I have to say, this really, really works for me. What does not necessarily work for me, although uh, it's a sweet touch, is uh, as we'll see in another jersey, is the the, uh, the um, coat of arms of Upper Austria is without color. That's a little bit odd, especially since you have the pink so prominent. I think this could have been full color as well. It's a blank, but it's a pretty sweet jer jersey that I really, really, really like. I have to say, this is almost my go-to last jersey to wear around at this, this moment, although it being mostly black, go figure. From something that I really, really like to a team that I really, really, really dislike. Yeah, I, I started to dislike Saul's, but then uh, once they got a little bit worse, and you know, ever since the Red Bull take takeover, and so the Salzburg jersey that I'm, that I'm using it since, since um, I use it as a stand-in for Red Bull Salzburg, to kind of piss off both fan bases, the old Austria fans and the new Red, Red Bull, because both have a trouble with each other and so, and so on. So, yeah, I mean, but uh, the team that are probably, but you know, it keeps changing. There are three teams that are always rotating in my dislike. As soon as I really dislike one team, then uh, one of the other two is showing up to be more unlike a lie like a, but uh, very consistent. Rapid is among my least fav favorite teams and i still have a rapid jersey yes this took a little bit getting uh over in a way but i have to say once i came to the decision i have the salzburg jersey i said yeah okay for my background for the austrian bundesliga it might make make, make sense to get a few other team teams in and i really have to say as far as rapid jerseys go this one is pretty near perfect even without sponsor which uh the sponsor would be an orange win in, in energy i think i gifted uh this jersey also to matt and i think there's an unpacking video there that you can watch here with, with, with the sponsored version short sleeve this one i got for 20. Uh, absolute steal a long sleeve jersey i'm never gonna wear this one to be honest but this is the perfect rapid jersey maybe if the sleeves were also striped this could be even better it's in remarkably good condition and it's a beautiful jersey i have to say uh adidas this is the um, this was one i think from 2009 to 2011 at a time where rapid was not all that great i think finishing third and fifth and then i think they the fans stormed the field at that time so yeah but uh, i thought this is just too good to pass up uh the price was very reasonable and it's uh i to me this is the perfect Rapid jersey, a perfect modern Rapid jersey. So very happy. It's it, it actually funny. I hate this team. And similar when I, when I, when I got, got, got the Inter jersey, when I got it, I had this giddiness about me. I did it. I did it. I bought a jersey from, from a team that I, that I really don't like. It's something really, really bad, but I did it. <laughs> Look at me. In, in a way. Now the next one is of course again a last jersey, also one of the European jerseys. This will be the European away jersey from um, uh, 2021, which of course is pink and doesn't fit me at all. This is from my little daughter who got it for her birthday last year. It's about to get a, a year later. Uh, she wanted to have a last jersey and said, you know, pink. And here you see the coat of arms of Upper Austria in full color. The pink one will go well for her. She absolutely loves it. Uh, and where she's here, here, here and there. I thought she's now more in the pretty princess phase. But you know, uh, when we were at the stadium, she was really, really proud uh, wearing this one. So very happy. What I'm not happy is that the day uh, before uh, I saw it yesterday evening for 15 bucks in men's and I just said, I was about to hit the buy button, uh, and then I said, no, hold back, you shouldn't. Let's see, sleep over, over it. And I wake up in, in the morning, it, it was already reserved for some, someone else. And I, 
gut punch. Gut punch in, in, in a way because uh, it would be nice to get the full set as well. So the home jersey I don't have, but you know, here is the away jersey in pink. Lusk fans hate it. Absolutely hate it. I have to say, uh, it does a lot. Uh, they are selling a lot of these to women and girls. And I think that's not a bad move. But now going to a proper black and white uh, jersey. Proper. This is a Sturm Graz away jersey from, I think it was the 1718 season. Or was it 16, or 16, 17? 16, 17 season. Sturm Graz away. I actually, when I, when I bought it, I wasn't sure if it's away or home. The home back then was black uh, with the white, but I have to have say the away looks. I really like the way it looks uh, with the pinstriping. Yeah, the spawns is a little bit something to get used to. You would have the league logo here to balance out the crest. The crest is actually very nicely done. Um, and then the sleeve curves in blue actually nicely match up with the. Um, sponsor in a way so i have to have, have, have to say that's egg, 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 actually to my liking i'm not sure how much the graz fans like that uh the red and white here because those are the colors of their cc travel that's the red team that went bust uh grk Graz athletic sports uh, uh, athletic club not athletic sports club because that's only lusk uh graz, uh, graz athletic club so yeah uh or gak in Austria, you own all unknown. So I'm not sure, sure about this, but I have to say, this is a jersey I saw and I said, okay, now I have a repeat jersey. This, I bought this around the same time and I said, okay, uh, Sturm Graz would be the other really, really big team that would be worth getting a jersey and also with black and white. Uh, and then I saw also this one. Now um, it would be nice to have a black one or black and, uh, even a black and white one because that's a more classic look for Sturm Graz. But I have to say, this one at least has black and white. <laughs> it's white with black pinstripes. I actually really like the uh, logo. And the other reason why I did get it in, in, in the end, because it has a name set. Piesinger, which is a guy that grew up in the same neighborhood of Linz uh, as I did. So, and he currently plays in Denmark, I think, for Randers. So that's also pretty cool uh, to have a lot. Yeah, it's a Sturm Jersey, but at least the guy, he went to the Lusk, uh, through the Lusk youth teams. And then he went on a career, so happy to have him. Another black and white striped jersey, of course, is my last, again, we have a lot of 2021 jerseys because they were on sale last year. <laughs> so I, 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 I picked up a few. This one also has a name set. This is the third jersey from that season. Black and white stripes, and we'll see the home jersey is also black and white stripes, but inverted. Uh, what's really cool about this one is the complete lack of color unless you take the L here and the red from the crest here. But everything else, it's purely black and white as it should be. This is was instantly a fan favorite. Even the sponsor, BWT, went colorless. Even the league logo is colorless. So that it's very, very black and white. But you see already a big problem that you didn't see on the other Georgia uh, jerseys in the Austrian uh, league. Uh, sponsors, sponsors everywhere. So we have here. This is a sponsor, a supplier slash sponsor. It's a water technology uh, company. We have the main sponsor here, which is only one, which is already a big, 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 big improvement. We have, of course, a sponsor for the league, typical in there. Then sleeves, more branding for the water company. We have, of course, Zipfer. And then if you turn it around the back, and it's very surprising that there's only one sponsor because we have seen other shirts that have more sponsors on there. Just one, Energy AG, and I have a name set. James Holland, an Australian guy who played really well for us. He also played in the Champions League for Austria Vienna and now he just switched to Austria Vienna again, which again proves I am not mad in the I don't regret getting this one, but you know, if you get a name set, sometimes it's not the best thing. I I still I like the player well enough that I'm actually quite happy to have it. And that's and I don't know why it is so stupid because at the other last jersey that, uh, of this period that I have a name, the name says Goiginger, which is uh, black and white. And uh, I, I, I saw once this jersey, the white names that look so cool. And I'm thinking, yeah, I have so many with the white name, names that white is the, 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 the stick out here. But yeah, it's a really, really nice jersey. It, this one still has the tag, so I've never worn it. So happy with that. Two, this is in pristine condition. 
Okay, last team that I have, and this is the most recent acquisition, which is of course Austria Vienna, which yeah, at the moment I'm a, I have a little bit trouble with them, with them buying half our team. No, um, I think the only one that they bought that really hurts is Ragush, uh, the other thing. Uh, the other so is it's is okay. But um once I had Rapid and Sturm I knew that sooner or later I need to get Austria Vienna too, just just to have the big teams. And then I said I think when I saw the the only the other the other team that I should consider is Wacker is Wacker Innsbruck. Yeah, they went bust. It's 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 a sad story because I really would love to have Wacker Innsbruck back, but I think uh yeah, it's just Austria in many ways. Austria Vienna, this is the 0405, yes, they keep up with temp Temple system, the 0405 home. They only finished third in the league, but made it to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup, and so that's why it's special. This was the time when Frank Stronach sponsored them with his Magna Empire, uh, which makes for a nice um, sponsor here. It's a very, very thick sponsor. But what I like most about this one, it's not the total 90 template, although this is a classic, I like the crest because it's the simplest possible Austria Vienna logo, F-A-K. At the moment, they have a lot more outline around, but I have to, have to say this one is just screams uh, 50s, 60s, this type of logo. Whereas the whole uh, jersey clearly does not. I mean, this is about as much uh, mid-2000s as it can, can be. I also love the shadow strapping effect in there. And the other thing that I really love about this one is I got it for five bucks. So uh, I had been looking at the last season's jersey. George was was selling for 20 at one point. I just hesitated too much. Or was it 30? It was 30. I hesitated too much. I also saw the one that they won the championship in 12, 13 in. Um, I also saw that one for around 20, 20 and I hesitated. And then it didn't show up again. And uh, I even like it was running out and I said, I want to have it and never got back to me. So yeah. Uh, Am I happy to get this one instead? Yes, because I spent less money and I have to say this is, I I really like this. I always like a total, the Total 90 design and this is only the second Total 90 that I have. Uh, and fun, fun enough, it's also one where the nameset should be here. I, I, this is one of the templates that really had the nameset in mind. So uh, you have that oddity there as well. So yeah. Austria Vienna, 0405 season. I think they eliminated two Spanish teams on their run to the quarter final. One was sure was Athletic Bilbao. I think the other one was Real Sar Saragossa. So uh, that, that, that was a big deal that they made it so far. But we're going to end it with a Lusk jersey. And again, 2021 season, the home jersey. And let me put the away jersey up as well. You see. Very, very similar. And it still makes sense. This is the home, this, this is the way, because if you look at the back, uh, they're all white and black. So there is a, a, a huge dis uh, way to, to distinguish the two shirts, which is so odd. But uh, because, because I always said, said uh, an away jersey should, should, should be a reversal of the home jersey, but for Lasky's never will work. Well, they made it work. Um, this now, of course, is full color. So we have the conch bits in red, which is club colors, club colors. The only pink is here and also the coat of arms. And that's why I love this, because this is mostly club colors. Uh, when I saw this jersey, I instantly was in love with it. I even pulled it in the top 10 uh, jerseys of 2020, uh, kind of-ish in there. Because I was so happy that after all these years with many weird colors, uh, white sleeves, black and white stripes, that zip for logo still in blue it could be a bit better and you know that but uh it just looked normal it absolutely looked normal and for that first half year they really played well they almost finished first in the league uh then now the one thing that i do not like about this one and that was something that only started by bugging me once i had the jersey this is a white jersey with four black stripes uh painted on uh, starting here it's all white and I, I, I don't know, it, it just bugs me a little, a little bit, but I think this will be kind of one of my go-to to wear Lusk jerseys, modern Lusk jerseys, just because I got it in the right size and, and so on. And it looks actually quite decent. Again, has only one sponsor on the back. Uh, I left this one blank because I said, if I go to the stadium again, this will be the jersey that I'll, I'll be using because that's what a Lusk jersey is. In many ways should look like, although as I said, I would love if the stripes could continue. At least give me the front panel. Don't make four, make, you know, it's kind of boxed. You have 
a room for at least two more black straps and that would improve the jersey significantly but i do like a little bit this copper 2000s um, <laughs> feel of it with the seams here yeah i mean it is it's over a nice jersey and of course together we are lusk uh the moment they pulled out this jersey that togetherness went kind of out of the way so yeah five austrian teams four lusk jerseys now you're up to, up to speed again with all my lusk jerseys uh which i have been uh, buying actually as of late quite crazily but you know our lusk jerseys is something that i can always buy and i said i should have I should have the pink one to complete the set because I would have then all three for the Bundesliga. Uh, that bugs me. That bug that. Uh, I mean, I still can buy it uh, online, but it would cost 35. I okay, saw it for 15 and I didn't buy it. A little bit bugged by it, but okay. What do you think about this collection of Austrian jerseys? Actually, I would like to know how many Austrian jerseys do you have in your collection? And if not, just hit me up. I may able to help you although uh, sometimes they're not cheap to get to come by that's all i, all I also have, have have to say um it is re i'm really often shocked when i look there are only a few that uh just that actually come for a reasonable price so yeah that's something very interesting any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and i will talk to you soon bye I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.